One of the challenges in Lean is to show how little time is actually spent working on the product or service, and how much is delay and how much is non-value added. And that's what the time value map can help you do. And you can do that in the QI macros. Simply click on the QI macros menu, go to Lean Tools, and choose Time Value Map. That'll bring up our template here. I'm going to make that a little bigger so we can see it. So first off, you want to list out what your steps are. So you might want to say what time does it start. So if it starts at a particular time of day you can. Or you can just start at zero. And then you want to specify what interval you're interested in. Is it one minute or five minutes or whatever. So we're going to do one minute for the time being. And then you specify each step. And how much time are we actually spending touching the actual physical product or service. So here it's one minute. And then we want to specify the wait time before the next step in the process. So you can kind of see here's our, our first bar here. And then there's a whole bunch of blanks here. And you want to specify whether it's value added, that's a plus one, or whether it's a minus one is non-value added. All right, so that's what these are for. And if you hover over any one of these boxes, it'll tell you what each thing is designed to be. And then let's say we have to do an inspection. Well, it might take them three minutes to inspect a product, but that's all non-value added work. And then there's some queue time before the next step. So again, non-value added or NVA. And then we have step two, and it's two minutes long, and then there's eight minutes of wait time. And then there's another inspection, and so on and so forth. So once you've specified all this, so we might actually specify in here that there's another step five, and it takes uh, two minutes, and then there's actually, uh, in the previous step, there's like nine minutes of wait time before that. And this last step, there's no wait time after it. And this is actually value added in some way, shape, or form. So once you've entered all of these, simply click on the Create Time Value Map. And it'll go think pretty hard to create all this stuff to create your new chart. And when it's done, it will show you what that looks like. All right, so here's our, oh, I had nine hours in here, you see, instead of nine minutes. Whoa! Right, so we could come back in and change that to 09 and simply rerun the chart as needed. And then what will happen is it'll calculate the, the actual value added versus non value added time in the total process as well once it's finished. So here you can see we have step one and there's a bunch of delay and some non-value added stuff, and then some value added stuff, and some more delay, and some more non-value added stuff, more delay, and so on. And so this will tell us a whole lot about how long we're actually spending working on this product or service. And down here you can see we have the value added versus the non-value added. And you can see there's very little value added time and a whole lot of wasted time up here. All right, so that's the time value map. And it's easy to create in the QI macros using the time value map template.